Hello everyone, welcome to today's webinar. My name is Michael and I will present to you today the six what we think essential Canva boards that can be used in almost every business. But before we start, uh, let's talk a little about a little bit about uh, the pain points of today's workplaces. There are actually three major problems, pain points, according to several studies that you can see in the slide. You know, um, there are some experiences I bet every one of us has made um, that stress us out a lot during our daily work. Here are some examples. For example, when you send an email to someone or to a group and nobody responds, it's basically getting ignored. Or if you want to know what everybody is or what everyone is working on right now, it's hard to get this information because it is mostly uh, um, scattered across different silos and there is not really a single point of truth. And um, going a week or more without any update from a project and the lists go on and on. And the COVID situation has made things even worse. You know, people spending hours on video calls, on calls just to uh, get in sync with the colleagues. And um, basically there's no time left for doing the actual work because everybody needs to be in sync and to understand what others do. So the transparency is not there and, and also the, the, the trust is not really there. And um, in the statistics here from, from the studies, you can basically see it like in the mirror, what is the current state. And, uh, and this is where Canbo uh, steps in uh, as an enterprise platform for work coordination. Um, you might ask yourself, what is work coordination platform? Um, it is the single point of truth of, for all our work. And uh, the boards I have picked uh, for today's presentation um, will give you an overview of Canva basic features. And I'm sure you would, it will also open your eyes uh, how easy and efficient some of the daily challenges in today's modern workplace can be actually solved. So without further ado, let's get started with uh, our six candidates for today. First of all, it will be project management. Then I will show you how to organize meetings in Canva. Then uh, I will present one uh, exemplary board uh, for a department or a team. Um, then um, a, a very important board uh, we think is, is the company overview where everybody can see what's going on uh, in, 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 the, in the enterprise from a very high perspective. Then um, some uh, an example for a process. Here I chose the, the IT internal support. And then another process um, from the HR department, the vacancy management. So let's get started. So in today's demonstration, I will be Marta, as you can see here. Uh, my name is Marta Davis. I maybe not do not sound like her, but uh, let's say for the sake of the demo, I am her. And um, the first board I would like to present you, to you is the board uh, project management, which I will find in this board collection and, uh, and uh, here in this, in, this, in this board group. So, of course, at the top you see here the, the members uh, of uh, this um, particular project. And then um, we have created several lists uh, for several things. So starting from the, uh, from the left, we have a list for basic project information, like um, maybe a basic timeline, you know, the stakeholders. So everybody, you know, that comes new into the project can, can easily have a look at those. And also the weekly updates where uh, people or let's say the responsible uh, person for this um, writes uh, what's going on uh, just to, uh, just so everybody can <clears throat> can have a look what is uh, what is actually now going on um, on, a, on, a, on a higher level, of course, because on the, on the, on the micro level, you can see that because uh, there are all cards here with, with some tasks and, and other things that are going on. And, and, and if you're interested in, in any detail, you can, you can go uh, in, in, in any card. 
Um, then, uh, of course, you, you should also use in a board um, so-called uh, board info where you could, you know, um, where you see who is responsible for this project. You see if it's available, you know, estimated budget, maybe where the project started, when it ends and some kind of a description. And here you see some generated um, information like how many cards, how many members and when the board started and stuff like that. So it's also a nice way to, um, to keep everybody informed. Um, then um, we have a we have a list here for for open questions. So if if you have a question that maybe should be answered during the next meeting, or maybe somebody knows the answer that it could be could be answered here, and everybody can see that it's um, uh, what the question was and what what the answers are. So um, you see already now, Cambo is providing a lot of transparency and um, a single point of, of of truth. So so everybody. Can can have access to uh, to all of the information, and uh, we have all the same information, um, not only about you know questions and knowledge, but also about the state. So these are the the next lists here, um, like you know to do list doing and and and, and maybe um, an approval list where where things uh, wait for 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 some kind of a approval until they, they they can be moved to done. Some things can be just moved to done just like that uh, because they. Let's say they uh, they don't require any 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 approval, and um, what's also very helpful and maybe not uh, clear at 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 at, uh, at every moment is that you should prepare the the, the board well for uh, for all people that that you would like to participate, uh, and for that an extra effort which which I recommend is to use the the information here that that where you describe where, what each list stands for and um, what, what, uh, what, what, what cards are there and uh, why they should be created, when they should be created and so on. This helps a lot. Um, but of course, um, you, you know, you have to um, uh, yeah, go there and, 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 and fill it out with some valuable content. You can also here um, use the, the URL, uh, so the, the, the URL, the links, if you, let's say, have uh, somewhere else, maybe in your SharePoint or whatever, um, and more description about uh, what should happen if a card lands here or lands here, then you could you could attach a link here as well. Um, and another uh, thing that uh, is uh, also uh, very helpful is to create views, uh, which is a concept that we introduced uh, last year. So here you see you see all the views available for for that. Um, for that for that board, and um, obviously we have the the first view which is the default because the, always the first one is the default, uh, and then but we have also something like by team. Um, so when I when I switch to this, you see the cards um, by uh, by team. But actually it's it, it's by label. So when you when we go back, we could see that uh, to all items that we see as work. Um, so so everything that has an icon here in the list. Will be considered by Canva as work. Everything that that has a, a empty circle is considered only information. Um, uh, why why do we make this uh, distinguishment? Because um, things that are information cannot cannot be late, for example, or or will, there will be no reminders uh, because these things un do not represent work. They're just information, and everything that that uh, is in a list um, that uh, has an icon. Will be represented. Uh, will be interpreted uh, by Canva as work. So again, um, we, we we have created a view which is called by team, and here we we are just uh, we we are we are we are seeing that they are grouped by label. So you can easily see which uh, which team um, has how much load, and what's also uh, very nice to see is that in any view, um, Canva collects information of all cards and their state of accomplishment and then it, it calculates uh, the percentage of, 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 uh, of progress. So in this list, so which is representing the marketing team, you can see that 25% of the workload is uh, finished. In this list, 33. Um, it is that way because um, um, they, uh, they have uh, accomplished one, one card out of, uh, out of four. Um, but if they are to do items, they will also be uh, considered as uh, as work. And um, another view, for example, let's say I am I am in, in marketing, would be just displaying cards that 
uh, uh, are to be done by marketing. Here you see we have also we have a filter which says uh, show me all cards that are not completed, um, which which are either in to do or doing. Uh, and are from uh, the label marketing team. So I can, uh, in the view, I can save um, uh, filters and groupings and also some other settings, like for example, um, a timeline, which I can enable or disable. And let's say if in, in this view, I would like to see the timeline, then I can just easily click here on save, and then it will preserve this change for the next time when I open the, the view. Another view um, type is a calendar view which obviously shows you all cards that have dates um, on, on the calendar, which has several options uh, like a week view or a list view. Uh, and um, you can also uh, drag and drop cards on this, uh, on this view to change the dates. And we have also um, a chat, uh, which can be used uh, to have an overall discussion about the project. Maybe that doesn't uh, regard any, any particular card. Uh, they could go here and um, it's, it's, it is a threaded uh, discussion. All right, so last thing that I would like to, to tell you about uh, in this board is um, that we, we have also a concept of, of blocks where you see this card is, is marked red. And when I open it, you will see that uh, it has been, it has one issue and, and the card is blocked and the block type is human resource. And, um, and you see that uh, the reason is one of the main engineers has left the company and we cannot uh, find a replacement. It was created by me uh, a day ago. And um, that's something that is also visible when you are uh, on the board collection level. So you see here, there's one block. If you click on that, you would see that block and which card is blocked. Um, and uh, the blocks, can be um, set and, and, and modified here in this in the settings um, of the board. Um, so blocker types, and here you see uh, we are uh, we have defined one block type of, of, of human resource. Here we, we are also um, uh, able to uh, uh, to 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 write. Uh, I mean to describe what the block is all about, and you see uh, right right now we 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 have one 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 of these block uh, uh, in 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 the board. The blocks can also be defined on an enterprise level, so on a, on the level of 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 uh, for all, for all boards, uh, and this is done here. When you uh, here you can define a global and on demand um, blocker types. But uh, the, the, the blocker types, there will be a, a, a dedicated video on that because this uh, is a very uh, a powerful uh, risk management concept. Okay, so that, that's, uh, that's it for, um, for now uh, for the project management. Let's, get, uh, uh, let's now switch to the second board, which is the meetings board. So we go to examples and team meetings. All right. Okay. So uh, what we've done here is we uh, have the first board, which, uh, sorry, the first list, which uh, we, let's say, keep all tips and hints and, 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 and good practices, how to, you know, have good meetings, uh, whatever good is in your understanding or understanding of your company culture. For example, it could be, you know, Keep it, uh, keep it short, keep it sharp. Um, on you know, only allow meetings that have a clear agenda and some kind of a purpose, um, and so on. So for for the for the purpose of this uh, of this demonstration, um, we have uh, created um, a board which uh, has a list for every month. And in this example, we, we, we have two types of meetings. One is the monthly meeting and uh, one is a so-called jure fix, which uh, happens almost every week. And um, then what you do is you, you create a card um, for, for one meeting uh, of, 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 of any type. And then inside of the card, um, you see uh, who was uh, the the presenter or who was the the, the, the meeting holder um, and then you see wh when it took place and then obviously if there was any conversation it would be in here and then we had an agenda and the agenda 
uh, uh, you know, had some subcards uh, where each topic uh, had its dedicated space um, and an SINE and maybe also a due date if, if required. So it, 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 it got its own space. And of course, a status, which, which uh, helps us to understand where we, where we stand. Uh, with this uh, to do from 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 the meeting, and here we see from the from the meeting perspective that all the topics or or to dos uh, were were uh, done, and we also have um, created uh, such a ritual uh, in this monthly meeting where every team um, has uh, two minutes to to tell its 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 updates. So what's what's on their then what's important to them, what's the, what they are doing, and so on, and then of course we could have some. Uh, some information that are maybe not fitting, in, but not big enough to be a topic, but also important to the meeting and maybe also some documents. And um, for a weekly Jurfix, the structure is similar, but we, we have only uh, those two teams, uh, two minutes updates. So meetings don't take more than, than 15 minutes. And uh, I think um, the structure is pretty straightforward. So you can like in every... Uh, every uh, month, you can see what meeting what meetings took place, and uh, you could you could have a look what was discussed there and what what things were were, were done. Um, and um, but but what what I would like to show you here is how we make use of of, of card templates because uh, here in this board we have two card templates. Obviously, one is for the monthly meeting, one is for the short fix. And uh, let me now show you. Um, let's say we will plan now a meeting for uh, for. Um, um, let, let's say we will we will make another meeting in May, another monthly meeting. So what I will do, I will create a card. And I would say it's it's going to be a monthly meeting, and then uh, I will uh, give it a date. So let's say it's going to be uh, the twentieth uh, of May, and now uh, the card will be created out of this template. So you see, the card is now pre-populated. And template uh, has first of all a to-do list for the organizer, uh, which uh, will be maybe me. I just uh, um, drag myself here. Um, it also automatically appears in my my board. And um, so what I have to do now, um, I have to add the meeting lead, which I did. So it's basically a list that helps me as an organizer uh, don't forget things. So you, you could prepare a list like that just to, uh, you know, whoever wants to hold the meeting, the things don't, don't get forget it. So then you have agenda. We have an example here, so just leave it like that. And then, um, okay, uh, I will need someone who will help me with, uh, with the meeting, who will, let's say, write the protocol. So it's going to be, I think, uh, where is it? I think Adam, right? Yeah, Alexander, okay, let's take Alexander. So he will be my uh, co-worker here. He will do the do the um, do the scribes, and then uh, let's set a date. Um, I can set a date um, just by drag and dropping it on the timeline, for example. So it's going to be twenty of May, and then yeah, it's done. And then uh, maybe you know send out an MS Teams invitation and so on. Uh, let's say I've done that and invited everybody. So <clears throat> for now, <coughs> the list uh, I don't need it anymore. It was just a reminder. Uh, so I will remove it, and then um, what? Um, uh, let, let's say now um, we have these topics, and uh, we want to uh, create uh, subcards out of those topics because the topics are bigger than uh, than we thought. Uh, so they they're, they're not just 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 topics that that, that stay as a to do list. So what we will do now is uh, we can. Um, uh, assign people to each of the of the topic that that needs to be done um, on, uh, as as, a, as an action point. Um, so, for example, let's uh, um, um, let's change that to uh, action point action point x y, um, and let's uh, say uh, he will be um, uh, doing this, and um, let's say I'll be taking over this one. And uh, here we will ask Diane to do this one. And uh, what you can do now is you can basically create subcards, so uh, little sub areas for each of the action point, so people can then uh, concentrate within this subcard on the particular point. So what I do here is I would just uh, convert this group to a chart card, 
and it will ask me um, uh, in which port. Yes, I want in this port in May. And uh, I could also choose a template, but I will, will not because I want to show you something. And I will convert it now. So now this, this, this to-do list becomes a subcard list and all of the points uh, became a, an, an individual card. And uh, Canva also recognized that uh, people were assigned. So the, the, the people were automatically assigned as, re as responsible to the subcards. And now let's say this action point XY is actually a bigger topic. And for that, I have a, diff uh, I have a different template. And Canva allows you to apply a template even after the card was created. So I just go here and I say, I want to apply a template and it's going to be a big topic. Boom. There you go. And this is the predefined structure. How, so again, so people don't forget things. Um, if you have a big topic, just think about, you know, uh, this area so people can now start, you know, fill in data and then maybe, uh, let's have it done by, uh, end of the week, something like that. And, um, so this is basically how you, how you manage uh, meetings, uh, in, in how you could manage meetings in Canva using the features we, we have here. And you might be asking now, where are all the subcards? And so they are now hidden. So you only see the, the master cards, uh, and we did it with the filter. So here is a filter, which, uh, only shows card, uh, which, which don't show, show, show cards, which have parents which means that uh, obviously all children are, are not uh, uh, hidden. So if we, if we want only to see the subcards, for example, for every month, we just switch to a view which has a different filter, which says show me only uh, cards that have parents. So obviously all meeting cards that are uh, cards that have only children and have no parents are done hidden. So another example, how to work with views, um, and, uh, for particular, this particular reason, how to use card templates to, um, um, organize meetings and also keep history of meetings. So, um, one thing, uh, which is also very handy is that you can easily follow a card. So let's say, uh, when this meeting, uh, I am interested in all the documents and all the stuff that's going to happen here. I can just go and follow, which I am already doing because I am the organizer. But if let's say I, I wouldn't be, uh, uh, following this card, which basically you can see here who's following, I would just go and say, I'll follow. And from this moment on, I will receive all changes, uh, and all updates that happen in this card directly into my notification um uh, center where where i can either send them to me via email if i want um uh, so i can set this here if i want them to be sent via email uh or i can read it here but they will definitely i will not i will definitely not miss a thing because i just said that i'm following the card and and i can see that also because there's a little eye on that all right so this is it for uh, for the meetings. I hope um, you find some some good ideas how to uh, use Canva for organizing meeting. And now we will switch uh, to the next example, which is the team and uh, department board. And uh, I have a board here which I called Team Seventeen. And uh, here is a practical structure of uh, how we can use that. Um, so first of all, we have a list with, you know, some, some basic information, uh, for a team, like, you know, how to, you know, how to work, how, how to work in home office, what are the, like how to do meetings, maybe, you know, how, where to find rooms, where the logins and, and, you know, things that, 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 um, most uh, people working in the team might be looking for. So we make it very easy. We make a, a dedicated list for that and, um, you know, administrative things like, you know, maybe people are on vacation or, or, or not available or something else could be, could be in this list. Then, you know, current things are like, you know, work, uh, which, uh, you know, um, is currently, uh, you know, taking place. Then, um, you know, maybe you have something like, like in, in your team, like one time projects that are small enough to, to be uh, held just by, by, by one card or represented just in one card. Um, obviously that card could also be linked with another board if you need more space or more, 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 uh, if, if you have more detailed information about it, but from a perspective of your team, it would be just a card, 
are representing a one-time project. And uh, last but not least, um, uh, we 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 uh, seen many customers doing this that they have basically a dedicated list as an inbox for work that comes from other departments that want your team to do something. And um, mostly those cards are subcards of some other task, tasks in their board, which then uh, whenever you finish uh, informs the, the parent card about um, uh, that uh, the, the card was completed. So someone who is following the, the, the parent card in, 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 the, in the department that sends you the work get automa gets automatically notified that you have uh, completed some some work for them and uh, so this is the a very very easy way to um, to uh, to structure let's say a team and uh, also here we have some views that might be useful um, like for example where we stand is a view that is uh, grouped by statuses so um, here i think uh, it is it is uh, very handy to work uh, with two dimensions which is uh, the one is other lists and you you can see that the lists do not have those little icons now because um, in this in this view you actually care more about the structure so using using Canva to structure information not so much about the progress and for that uh, you have the different view or, or a different way to uh, to group the the cards which we're using here um, so this is the view which shows you um, all cards by status. And we have said that don't show any cards that have the status info, which is the information because they don't represent work. So we don't want to see them here. So here we only see things that are right now um, from, the, uh, from the perspective of, 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 of progress. So, so basically work, so, so much work is not started. This work is progress. This work is completed, and um, you um, you can also um, see um, that on a calendar. And uh, you see that that some cards are now uh, represented uh, here as, as as time ranges because they start they have a start date and a due date. And um, this one, for example, uh, doesn't have uh, um, uh, doesn't have a start date. I can see it's only a due date, and that's why it's it's not not, not a range. But um, what's what's most in, in, uh, interesting about this view is that you the 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 the, the cards are, have colors now, and you can choose um, uh, that they will be colored either by first label on the card or status. So basically, it's uh, or nothing. Then they are just white. Um, so um, here uh, we are coloring them by um, by the first label, so we can easily see uh, which uh, department. I guess it was department, right? The labels were uh, no. Uh, so you see basically what is what is uh, uh, what is priority and, and and not available. I think uh, or no, it was status. I think. Let me see here. It was colored by. Oh, by first label, yeah, by first label. So basically, uh, the first label gives the color to the card. So if no label, it is, it is white. And uh, last but not least, there's also one interesting view where we uh, group the card by users. So in that way, you can see how much load each employee has in the team. And obviously, as, uh, as from the other uh, um, from the other examples, the list also calculates automatically the progress. So how much work is completed by, uh, let's say here, Norman, one card. So that's why it's 33%. Um, all right. So that would be, and uh, that would be an idea how to um, you could structure a, a team in in Canva. And let's let's now move on to the next example, which is the company overview. So uh, here, it, this is a board where um, each team has its own card and, you know, you could, as a new employee or whatever, if you want to know something about, uh, about a different team or about the, uh, about the department, you could, you could find a list here and maybe, you know, there will be, you know, some information like maybe um, uh, you could, you know, have like, like, like um, contact 
info mm, and you could you know write here like uh, email and, and and phone 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 and so, phone sorry phone yeah and so on uh, to basically um, how to reach them and, and and stuff like that and then we have a um, for our company we could have let's say the priorities or targets that we want to you know meet or reach uh, in the next time so here we have we have uh, our, our priorities then we have uh, our current uh, projects and what, what, what we've done here is um, we're using the same label uh, for uh, for the department here, also for uh, for the projects uh, uh, where the teams are involved. So later um, you, you could you could just say uh, just show me all um, marketing uh, related things. Then you see like this is the, the the team. These are the priorities that are marketing related. These are the current projects, accomplished projects by marketing and so on. So um, very easy way to connect information just by adding the same label uh, to the cards in order to find them. Then we have, of course, of course, here an accomplished uh, section of projects so everybody can see what we have accomplished so far. And um, last but not least, there's also some, some way, let's say, um, we call them Bravos, which is uh, a special list dedicated to people that have done great uh, some great performance or, you know, maybe um, some congratulations on a, on, a, on a baby or whatever. It's just a list to, um, uh, to, uh, to, to, you know, to feel to, to, that, that, that the company also, you know, cares about human beings and thanks for, for outstanding things. All right. So that, that's basically it. Uh, okay. There's one thing that might be uh, interesting. Um, you, uh, as, as you know, you can follow cards. But uh, I like, for example, to see what gets accomplished. So I just follow the list. So whenever a card is moved in here, uh, I will get a notification, um, and I can I can see what 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 projects were were recently accomplished. And uh, otherwise, I just uh, you know visit the board from time to time to see uh, what's going on and so on. Um, so that's uh, the company overview. Then uh, let's switch to our first process which is the issue tracking. So um, here, as you can see, we're using lists, a uh, very simple view um, where um, each list represent, represents one uh, state and uh, you can easily add new lists. Let's say we need um, another quality gate, let's say quality, uh, quality gate uh, two mm, and then we give it a um, we give it a role uh, that it is uh, in progress, so Canva can understand it um, in the analytics, which I will show you in a second. And then we just move it in here. So we have quality gate one, quality gate two. So now our cards can easily go here. And um, obviously, if you're a quality gate a guy, then you could you could follow a list, and then you get you get notified if, if a card comes in and, and stays there and so on. And um, and obviously calendar Gantt and so on. But uh, what's uh, Im important here is um, that uh, you can uh, you can also view analytics. For example, here makes sense. So um, you see, you know, how many cards are not started, how many completed, how many are late, no late cards here in progress, and so on, and some other nice uh, statistics here. So um, that's the way how you can structure almost any process and uh, the cards start here and just you know move from here uh, to the end of the list and um, then after a while uh, you can move them to for archive and once 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 a while you just go here and then uh, archive all cards from from this list right okay uh, so that will be um, uh, exemplary um, exemplary uh, process. And now let's say uh, let's go to our last example for today's webinar, which is the vacancy management, where we have um, a, a, you know a similar structure like in the previous board. Uh, of, co of course, the the stages, which each uh, with with each uh, card uh, represents an uh, applicant. Uh, is going through uh, different, obviously, right? 
Um, and um, the first list uh, represents all our open positions. So again, here, if you want to see like how many how many people we have right now in the process that could be for IT, you just go to filter, label IT, there you go. And you see like, okay, we've got like three people right now in the in the process that could be suitable for our open position. So you can it here. Um, and each uh, card contains all information about uh, a particular um, applicant. So who is basically responsible for the applicant, um, you know, labels, as you as you can see, where the applicant is now in the process and uh, all his documents that were sent by email, for example, and all, uh, you know, communication that was going on around him and maybe uh, some 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 notes uh, from 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 interviews and so on. So so all people that are in the HR can see um, how others think about this person so far. And um, what uh, here I would like to show you is uh, like how can you deal with documents. So let's say we have now um, a new empl a new applicant arriving. So we create a card. His name is Alex Alex Murphy. And then you can see I have a template here and I will choose the applicant template. So see when I open the card, uh, what I what I would like to show is it's okay, it's the structure. So basically we have a pre-check validation that so nobody forget uh, forgets something. And uh, uh, here we can attach the application documents, which, which I will do right away uh, from email. And also what is very important that the templates in Canva, um, card templates in Canva, can also contain already links uh, uh, to documents. So let's say um, I, I should use this background check C3 every time uh, when we have a, a new applicant. Uh, the document is already attached. So a document can exist at the same time in many cards, but the document physically is just one document stored in the in the in the board documents, which is by the way stored by a SharePoint library, which um, this board is attached to. Um, so uh, here the 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 key takeaway is um, that templates card templates can have already documents inside of them. And uh, as I said, I want to attach the documents that I have just received via email from this uh, candidate. So it's here. And what I can do is I can just uh, drag and drop them on the card, uh, which will uh, cause them to upload. And you see they are now uh, uploading. Uh, I could also use the uh, Canva um, uh, Outlook add-in. Um, and, and basically create the, the applicant right away uh, in, a, in a board of my choice. And then it will also take all the documents, the email and so on, or, uh, sorry, here, or I could attach this, uh, this email to um, also uh, an existing card. And um, what is also nice uh, in, 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 in Canva, um, uh, so emails, we don't think that they will ever go away. So uh, we, we built um, several ways to integrate. So one you, you saw, I can just drag and drop files. Then I can use the Canva Outlook uh, add-in for that. Or um, I could even go and create um, uh, an email address for this board. When I go to settings, to incoming emails, you can see this board already has an incoming email address. So whoever sends an email to jobs at cambo.biz, uh, um, then uh, automatically a new card uh, with the contents of the email will be created in this new CVs list here. So when I when I follow uh, this list, which I already do, um, I will always receive a notification uh, on all new uh, uh, cards that are creating here. So basically in this context, it will be a new hire. All right. Yeah. And uh, the last thing that you should also know that Canva integrates with MS Teams because it uses uh, the same uh, Active Directory groups uh, behind the users. So here, uh, if you see the users, actually there is a there is a Office 365 group behind it that you can look up uh, in the settings of the board. So this one is managed by vacancy management and this is actually um, a group. But it also can be connected to teams uh, that are here. So now I have a this, this is the same group with the same with the same users here. So if I go and manage 
the team, then um, I will find the same users here as I will find here. And um, the, this means that if I have a channel, for example, I can easily add a new board uh, of Canva and have it displayed here. And uh, when we upload documents and stuff like that, they are the same documents you see here in files. So this files and uh, document uh, documents of the board are the same. So whenever you uh, upload a document to a, to a Canva card, then you can open it later in, in, in Teams directly or, or vice versa. If you upload a, a file in Teams, then you can attach it easily to a card just by going to the card and saying add document, add existing document, and then you will see the files, for example, of the general channel and so on. So I think that's also good to know, um, but there will be a dedicated session on uh, all the integration points with Microsoft Teams. Um, so th th this, is, uh, this is it. Uh, and um, I hope you like the the, the 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 examples that I chose today. Okay, so there are more templates, more ideas for for your company. If you go to uh, our website, and uh, there is a link at the top menu, or you just enter this this address, then you will you will find uh, uh, more than 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 thirty ready to use uh, board templates, which can be downloaded and um, uploaded to your installation of Canva. And then you can you can use them as inspiration. Of course, feel free to, to customize them. They should fit your workflow. They should fit your way of work, not the other way around. But they, the idea was to give you some inspiration. Um, so you, 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 you can see how um, Canva features can help you uh, to, to get to whatever you want to achieve. And uh, last but not least, uh, please take away these uh, following things. So mostly when you when you introduce Canva into a department or into a team or maybe into um, uh, an enterprise, it will definitely take time. Um, but it's, it's, it's always good to start with something uh, real. Um, not 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 testing it on on you know some some things that are you know uh, some some artificial or, or or made up projects because then people don't have time to really test so it should really be something that 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 you really want want to do and in, you 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 would have done it even without Cambo so so go for that that's definitely uh, a good advice and and, and it pays off to see then uh, how the tools performs really into, on, on, under the real circumstances. Then, um, as you saw in the, in, the, in the other boards, like use description, uh, use descriptions for the project uh, or for the board, use descriptions for the list, um, prepare a structure, prepare labels, even go so far and prepare card templates, prepare documents. So the more you prepare, the more you, you make this place uh, a, a nice place and, and which, which is ready to use, then the more people and, and quick, quicker the people will come uh, to work with this uh, uh, compared to if you just have a blank board without uh, any preparation and tell the people, yeah, let's, let's go and, and, and do it. It's uh, not going to work out so good. And um, last but not least, try to uh, share the, the benefits, like, uh, you know, lessons learned, create new board templates that have uh, improvements from uh, the past. So the next team or the next department or the next undertaking that you do uh, will profit from the knowledge that you gain from the past. And then uh, you will become better and better as an organization and also better and better as a, as a human. So, uh, yeah, that will be it for now. And uh, now if you have, uh, let's see if we have any questions uh, during the webinar and uh, let's answer them.